Hello and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Civ 5 with the filthy tutor, Mr. Filthy Robot. How are you doing? You holding I'm in doing there? well, man. I'm, it's getting late for me, but uh, I'm a little tired, but I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I'm mm -hmm. ready to power through this episode. Let's let's see what we can do. So you're gonna break. We're breaking the fourth wall here, letting you guys know that it's it's late at night. All right. So we yeah, got. We got. I, I think. I think if you can hear it, I think I ought to at least explain. Mm-hmm. Uh, so growth, right? We're we're trying to build these all four of these cities tall, or do, would yeah, you rather do uh, the two three? I'm okay. Let's let's okay. Let's let's figure out what we're doing here. The first thing I want to do is I want to buy that warrior. So that that is gold that I want to get rid of. So let's let's do this in order because right now we're looking at it. we have 370 gold. Let's utilize this for some utility. Let's buy that warrior. I thought we were city. I thought we were going to utilize this to buy a whole bunch of tiles up against her. That's what that money was earmarked for. Remember? Yeah. We you could forgot. Do that. You forgot. It's more along the timing. So um, okay, you can right. clear this camp by settling next to it. That will clear the camp. It won't give you the gold, but it will complete any city-state quest for clearing the camp. Say that one more time. Settling so, adjacent to it will clear it. Yeah. What happens to the will, unit? It won't give you the gold. It won't It won't give you the gold for clearing the camp, but it will uh, satisfy the city-state quest. And the unit will be fine, although it will be fortified and no longer in a camp. And then you can shoot at the city and slam it with the scout if you want. Well, I do want to get uh, Swiper here some some action. This guy has been like pining for anything. And he only and he only needs two attacks to get the experience. So you could certainly decide not to kill the unit and still get the experience. That is certainly a viable alternative. Once the camp is gone, how does the Barbarian Handaxe's AI change? Will he become more aggressive since he's no longer defending a he, tile? He, yeah, he no longer cares about defending the camp. So he'll just he'll just go with normal Barbarian AI to roam around and pillage shit. Well, he'll be or adjacent. He'll be adjacent to two units. He'll attack the weaker melee strength unit. With, with this is five strength. The archer is five strength. So, well, what's the toss got, up? I mean, you, you could you could fuck with that if you wanted to. For example, if you set up the city and move the archer to the hill, uh -huh. the archer then is a five combat strength, which is equivalent to the scout, but not fortified. So he would probably attack the archer over the scout if you wanted to do that. I, there's no real reason to do that. The only reason why we care about this at all is we probably want the experience from the scout, right? I would Which is interesting. The city. That's so. interesting because in, in Civ 6, we actually want the exact opposite. We usually want to, the, the experience on the ranged units. You notice that? Yeah, that, that is true. We're going to... I mean, this is Barbarian. Like, I, I do care about the scout stuff, too. The scout Having plus one ranged scouts is quite useful. So my, my personal preference here is settle the city. Okay, quick question. Same as Civ 6, if you don't take the promotion, can you still earn experience? No, the opposite. Uh, you will, I believe you continue to accumulate experience in Civ 5 if you don't uh, sign the promotion. So we could stockpile this for later, and if he ever let's, takes damage... Let's, let's double test it, but I'm, I'm pretty sure we can. But the problem is you won't be able to end your turn until you've assigned the promotion unless he's shot. So every turn that he shoots, you can delay assigning the promotion. But if he has a turn where he can't shoot, you have to assign the promotion before you can end the turn. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So we'll we'll. Yeah, okay. This is clearly uh, Testy, Testerson. Aw, test Testy McTester. So, it it cut me off. That's just so mean. Whoa. Why did it default back to Archer? Anyway. Okay. Process turn. Process turn. Okay. Unit promotion. Um. What? What do we do next? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what? All right. I thought I, I thought we talked through this turn. If we don't ever talk through this turn, all right. Let's take a look around here. So I, you wanted my, to buy the warrior. My personal preference is let's get this free worker. So let's buy the warrior. We want a spear. We want a swordsman anyways. Let's grab the warrior. There's a pretty decent chance he ends up on that uh, that hill next turn. If he doesn't, we can chase him with the warrior while moving south with something else. Okay. No, don't shoot him because mm -hmm. we don't care. It doesn't make any difference. When a worker is captured, it gets healed to full. So we can shoot it if you want, but the city doesn't gain experience. So there's no real benefit to doing that. Yeah, target practice. Right. But uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, if you have a military unit already in the city, you can't build more. You can't buy out units, right? Same as Civ 6? Yes. I believe that's the case. I just want a little quick confirmation there. Ooh, our city yep. is uh, five in the capital. When did that happen? And why is it bigger? Uh, why is it bigger? Oh, Do we have uh, any? It's, uh, yes, yes, it is. We just got it that. Is. Okay. Landed elites. Good call. I was, I was right. like, that I want to get these pastures improved. So the yeah, that unit. We got there, that one. Yep. Okay, this is this is important. We haven't talked about this yet. For that worker. That worker on this on the silk. Yep. Here. I want you to move in one tile northeast mm -hmm. and I want you to build a farm. Why on earth would we build a farm if we're going to build a pasture? You'll like it. You'll like it so much. Hit farm. Go ahead. Now hit cancel. 
Okay. So the worker, to move from the soak to the cattle, that's his entire move. He can't start improving the cattle till next turn, right? Gotcha. Yep, he couldn't have done it till next turn, so he just basically yep. stole... A turn of farm building for free. Do you like it? I thought you might. Right, because we, all together between this turn and the next turn, we have four movement points, and if we went one, two, then on the, on the on this year, we would end up spending two turns to do one action instead of going one, two, yes. one, two. Gotcha, that's really clever. How'd you figure that out? You uh, smart guy. Experience? Wait, wait, no, Again, no. Like, Here's what you're going to say. Here's what you're going to say. Players taught me. You see, <laughs> multiplayer taught me. Uh, I haven't learned anything actually. Never, never figured out anything else for myself. I just, you know, I just play this game a lot. <laughs> no, but it all blends together to some level. I don't remember which of the stuff I figured out versus which has been taught to me by other players. It's just a matter of what is the optimal path. Like yeah. part of the exploration when you're playing with other human beings is and this is one of the things that's great when we do the collaborations. It's fantastic for Civ Six for both of us, not just you. It's not like you're just learning Civ Six from me. I'm also learning Civ Six by working with you. Is because we ask these questions and make the optimal stuff for that. So I don't remember where I found that out because it's been too many hours since I played that. But it is something that is a huge efficiency boost on workers to do things like that. Yeah, that's very smart. I like it. And and I could see how that would even become more important if you somehow managed to get a, a policy or idea or whatever that gave you like three movement on workers is there anything like that Persia can get three movement on workers yeah so that you would be able to use that far more often then yep um can can he does it consume all of his actions or is it uh one action build something it can it can consumes everything it takes his entire turn to uh finish to to start improving anything so just like yeah. civ six gotcha uh we're not gonna buy tiles well, we could. Mm, we could, is what I'm thinking. Like, this 3-1 is but looking think, pretty appealing. I but a, Well, I don't want to buy the, the cattle. I don't care about that. It'll go there, grow there sooner or later anyways. What I do want to buy is I want to buy both that hill, the 105 tile, and the 85 tile. Uh, the, the That one, yep. So we need to wait at least uh, one turn to get 180 gold. Mm, you mean 190? Well, 190 is more than 185, which is what we need to get both those tiles. Or 190. Yeah, yeah, no, it's 190, 85, and 105. Yep, yep. <laughs> Next turn, 190. Okay, don't let Filthy do any more math. He's getting tired. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's late. I'm joking. Okay, okay. Processing, <laughs> processing, <laughs> processing yep, turn for player. Uh, we are settling. We've decided to clear the camp, get the uh, the quest with uh, Kathmandu. Um, now, we should have, since we were we planning to clear this, oh, yeah, we probably it. should have guaranteed him because we could be five, five opinion higher now. Uh, I honestly don't you just, care. That you just much. don't do that? Okay. So I'm curious now how much how much is it worth? It should now? be forty five, I think. So we have a quest to clear this camp. And oh. we're at zero with Catman Do, so we can see how much it gives. So just settle and that and that's it for now. Okay. Yep. Okay, the final city is Helsinki. How many city names are stored for each civilization? It's a lot. And you if you never hit the end of the list and like have it wrap back around? I <laughs> haven't. Okay. So this is a clear shot to make him weaker so it's easier to so uh, take less damage? No, it's not a clear shot at all. It's how much do we want to exploit this guy for experience versus how much do we want to move our archers over. Well, we don't really care to uh, to stop him from blocking that tile. That's not a big deal. Um, right, and so we can leave him around. So I'm, I'm kind of tempted. I think we have a little yeah. bit of time still. I'm kind of tempted to farm him for a little bit of experience. So let's let's farm him. Okay, well, we're on flat terrain. We could move move and then start working in that direction and, and still probably get an extra. It won't make any difference because if you look at the tiles over there, they take two movements to move into, all of them. What, all these these things here are gonna yeah all three see so if you look it's copper the the deer grass uh, the grassland or excuse me the plains deer wooded plains deer and then the wooded tile so it makes no oh, difference okay. if we move the archer or not I was just trying to be smart but no so we no, do take the I shot like, then I like the thought. Yeah, sure. would you yeah. rather get him out of the city so that he can attack back we get more experience that way ah uh, that's interesting I guess yes that's fine. But if we do well, that, we can't is, attack. The thing is, what I want to do, I yeah. would actually attack. So there's a difference in defending and attacking for experience. You gain more experience for attacking than defending. What? So, no, 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 that's yeah. different. That's In Civ 6, it's the exact opposite. Being is attacked that, gives true? you no. way, okay. way more. Like, if you have so a scout... So a range unit, a range unit shooting... Okay, <laughs> so uh, I guess we haven't talked about this. I just assumed. All right, I'm going to stop assuming. Let's, let's pretend no one knows anything about this, and let's look at this this way. If that scout were to attack the barbarian you gain five experience because it's a melee attacking another unit and that's five experience if always. the scout just so always that's, that's five yep that's five for a melee attacking another unit is five unless unless uh it's a barbarian and you're already level three right yes in that case you get no nothing okay all. zero not even on the defense archer shooting that yeah not even on the defense once you're capped up the archer okay. shooting that is going to be three experience if the melee unit was defending another melee unit, it would be four experience. If the archer was defending another uh, unit, 
uh, melee or ranged, it would be two experience. And you've just memorized all these numbers. Yeah, and I'm not even 100% certain now about the two experience. It might be four if you're defending a melee and two if you're defending a ranged. See, I thought, uh, you, I thought it was... You also get additional experience if you're attacking a city compared to a unit. Hmm. But not if you're defending a city compared to a unit. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Like, fuck, it's like, just okay. fuck you. Like, that's, that's uh, yeah. like, all right, let me write this down. I'll be back after I write my book. <laughs> yeah. uh, one second. I'll have, a, I'll have like an extensive note sheet that I have to cycle through every episode. <laughs> so, okay, here's what we want to do. We want to set this Barbarian up so it does minimum damage to a scout, but we want to be able to attack that Barbarian twice with the scout because two melee attacks with that scout will give it 10 experience, which gives it a promotion, which gives it plus one sight. So we want to wound it, but not kill it with the arch, probably the archer over the city because the city's nine combat strength, the archer's seven. So that's a weaker shot. Yep, shoot it once. Uh, what's the mouse over the scout attack on that? Uh, that's a little sketchy. Yeah, do it anyways. It won't kill you, but you might not be able to slam it twice. But he's zoned, so he can only go to these four problems. These yeah, we're not worried about running away. We're worried about what if he attacks the scout. And it won't kill him at half health on the scout. Yep. Okay. And you saw you actually didn't you didn't take half. It said you were going to take half, but you took you only took 45 there, which is less than half. We did yep, go. The has experience. He goes Cole. over his time. And and, yep. and I was gonna say I was gonna say I thought it was only two experience to attack, and it, I was right. I didn't say it, but yeah, we only got two, not three. You said three. It is three. Nope. I don't know why that's two. I don't know if that is barbarian, if that is the fact he already has a promotion holding, or if it's three versus a city and two in general. It might be three versus a city and two in general for the three. I think that's I what I about. anecdotally remember. Yeah, but okay. Okay, that, that may actually be accurate, but the differences right. are attacking yeah. cities versus defending versus attacking. So, you have to drink now. I'm doing uh, it. Your liver's going to die. Uh, so, <laughs> iron working was yes. the, the preferential one because it's going to protect us better if, against if, the AI. Which is cheaper right now? Uh, 195. And, and so, I th again, we, we went back and there was that question about the five. See, I was saying three again on everyone. That's got to be the overlap. In the yep. previous tech turn. So we figured that out. So this is 195, this is uh, 117. Clearly that's cheaper. I mean, you can see based on the turn counts. Are you talking about the uh, the discounts? What do you mean cheaper? Yeah, so um, how much, how discounted is iron working versus how discounted is construction right now? So we got 195, 195, 195. This one's cheaper, this one's more expensive. So it's been, dis these three have been so discounted a little discount bit. Yep. A little bit, but these ones have been discounted, uh, this one's been discounted the most. Versus 117, 105, 122, and then that one doesn't really count because it's weird. Yeah. So of these three, the cheapest one is uh, mathematics. Then I guess I'm tempted to go Iron Raiden right here. The only time I'd want to do construction right now is if we're just about to be attacked by Portugal. If that is the case, I'd want construction. Uh, with that, without that in mind, the best way to prevent them attacking us is getting Iron Working. Right, because of the military melee strength. Gotcha. Yes. Okay. Exactly. Fair okay. enough. Uh, and then All finally, right. our new city. Uh, Granary. Yeah. No, no question. Yep. And uh, I would lock in that bison, which I like, and make it production focus. So the other thing to notice is because uh, that, that that copper has been... See the blue borders now? See the different color yep. from the bison versus the copper? Yep. This is based on which city now has priority to that tile. Yeah, that makes sense. So uh, we can cycle between the cities and see that uh, we've, we've locked that bison. If this bison weren't being worked, we should definitely transfer it to yep. the city that could use it. Yeah. But we're currently uh, we're trying to grow the capital, and we're but never going to give up the it's bison. Particularly, it's particularly worth noting when you have something like iron that is shareable by two cities, like a, especially an improved iron, that you should, for the maximum micro, for the min-maxing, when your city's about to grow, you should swap which city owns the iron so that it can grow to that tile when it grows. That's really, really excessively min maxing You do that while playing like crazy multiplayer games on Absolutely. quick speed? Yes. Damn. Okay, Absolutely. you're taking it taking it to the next level, apparently. Uh, right. I don't think there's anything else to do here. Nope, we have four cities. I'm happy. Uh, where's the where, where did the worker go? Did he move to tile we wanted or did he get captured? Yes, he did. Fucking, we was going to some camp we don't know about, but that's okay. We purchased the warrior. Grab him before anyone else does. Free worker. We're pretty excited about that. i uh, keep it. Yeah. This is going <laughs> to prevent us from building any workers. That's fantastic. Swedish, okay. It says Swedish worker. Milanese Small. again. Yep, yep. Uh... Okay. Um, yeah, looks good. Okay, we're at zero happiness. Are we growing at all? 
growing at all? What? Um, you, yeah, just zoom out. Okay, three turns, six turns, four turns, and three turns. So we have a little bit of time to get that lux luxury online. We are working on the gems. We ought to have the gems online before we grow. Should be good. See, this is what I was worried about. See what I'm talking about in terms of... So, will that kill him? Yeah. yeah. So this is, this is the problem that I was worried about. Well, he, is, he hit us. So what if we just fortify and let him hit us one more time? That'll give us uh, four experience and we should level up. That's not, no, you get four experience for defending against a melee attack. You don't get four experience for defending against a ranged attack. I think you get three, though, so that might be enough. So, yes, if you fortify, that may be enough. Okay. Out of curiosity, if we finish this, this chop, we're going to get 13. Which, uh, I think you said could be more if it was within our borders. Yeah, you want to see what the difference is if we purchase it? I'm curious too now. I don't actually know the difference off the top of my head. And that's not a oh. tile that's going to grow mm -hmm. too easily because it is a... a oh, mm -hmm. we want to buy the two tiles on yeah. Portugal. You love your mark and your money for multiple things at the same time, don't you? Yes, I, can't, I do. We can't buy it while he's in it, can we? Yes, we can. Kicks him out. Can we control where it kicks him to by buying in a specific order? Can we trap him? We put him right in the center and say you can never leave. <laughs> we, Make a we little circle around him. him. You could buy around him. Yes, you can do that. Ultimate that trolling. Yeah. Okay, so this is far more important, right? This is the, the most dangerous thing in the campaign right now. We have to he do this, right? Him. Yep, do it. So um, we do both at the same time because we know it's going to piss her off. Yep. And, uh, yep, bye. Oh, you did the math wrong. No, I didn't do the math wrong. It went up when you purchased tiles. And you for you didn't you didn't account for it. I forgot. You forgot. I warned you about this I earlier. I didn't forget. <laughs> I don't even know. You're the tutor. I told you. I was expecting you to remember this. This is why I tell you the information. Were you not taking notes? Obviously not. <laughs> I love how surprised right. you sound. That's horrible. <laughs> okay, so... Um, That's kind of bad news, because she's going to bitch and moan about us. And you bought the worst of the two tiles first. The hill was more important than the flat. flat shoot, 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 shoot. You should have said something. You should say always <laughs> always buy the better priority tile force. You, you know, if you don't say first. it, I am like a machine... Right, you're the robot, <laughs> but I'm like a machine here. I'm a I'm a Roomba, like a little vacuum cleaner, whatever. Right, people love that. I was a Roomba long before that stupid little robot came out, by the way. But anyway, oh, by the way, I most of our cat men do. How much experience do we get with them or influence? Fifty on the dot. Cool. Is that this turn or last turn though? I think we did that last turn. Well, if it was last turn, it would have been fifty-one, which seems unlikely. So it probably was fifty. Yeah. All right, so that gives us. Uh, we are religious. They're giving us two faith. That's and amazing. And as friends, they're not giving us dies. We have to become yep. an ally for that. Yep. But we could have been at 55 if we'd guaranteed them. Never mind. Yeah, <laughs> they'd be still useless. No one cares. I care. Um, I you, you made me break my train of thought. Uh, <laughs> if, you, if, you don't, if you don't program me properly, I will make I, errors in judgment. So I chose this tile thinking I could just go click, click. But you didn't tell me to process this. <laughs> have you done any coding before in your life? You're crying out loud. You're teaching That's a new AI terrible. sentient program here. You know here. something else, too, that... Remember that farm that we started with? We gotta, we gotta make sure we're not continuing to work that farm. It's only efficient if you don't. It's only efficient if you cancel it. Oh, no, we, we did. We did. So we yeah. can work on the pasture. No, good, good. Ah, that's so much better. Uh, I wish we could fix this gold issue right now because I want to buy that other tile without pissing them off, and they're going to complain next turn, and they're going to require that you pledge that you won't do it again. So how do we get? Gold? Well, are we? Are we going to do it again? You think they're going to yeah, require we pledge that next goddamn turn? Goddamn hill as soon as we possibly can the, these are the only tiles we plan on because buying remember, from Sigtuna. this is deity ai they cheat so their border expansion cheats so they are much more likely to get that tile than we are even though it's the same distance from us and it's the uh same it's it's an unlikely tile to grow to because it's an it's a it's a rough terrain and it's a non-food rough terrain well it's not non-food it's a, but it's a rough terrain tile so but i want the tile because i want the hill okay so we're not using this archer should we send him east Yes, enemies. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this guy finished shopping a forest last turn. Uh, pasture is culture. We want That'd the growth anyway. Good. Yep. There's no other tiles to improve that makes sense. We could chop farms forests. Farms pastures over here. Yep. Uh, um, farms, we're going to be hitting civil service pretty early. That's a very important tech for growing, especially as tradition. So, uh, but okay. I do think pasture is better. I'm just trying to internalize here the... Uh, the only time that that little trick you just taught me works is if you need to move two tiles away and... Okay, so th yes. there's no opportunity for this here. I'm just trying to... No. You know, I, gotta, I gotta catalog it in the brain, the noggin. No, I think that's great. I think that's phenomenal. Well, if I'm you teach really me something, I won't forget. I'm really looking forward to learning a game off YouTube because I hope I have that. I I've been very impressed with how you learn. So I'm really hoping that I have oh. similar levels of that. So, that's a pretty fancy compliment there. Yeah, All right. well, I, won't, I won't do it again. <laughs> just this episode. 
<laughs> you just tell me, just tell me that I'm right on occasion, and we'll be best friends. I mean, that's all there is. <laughs> there it's all you, every now, if you just want to follow me around, especially on like events that we go to in New York or whatever, just say, "Hey, hey, by the way, Roomba, you're right," and I'll just, <laughs> I'll love it. I'll, I'll be all about that. So perfect. Uh, I didn't, I didn't lock. Uh, we never. I don't know if we actually came back to the city. What would? No, it, that's fine though. That that would be the tell I choose to work here, especially the, when we're building a building that gives us food. So. Uh, but what about one population before? Would you move it off to like something else yes, that we work that Absolutely, tile? one population before always a hundred percent. Yeah, I'll never remember to do that. That's too much work. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, we've got to uh, take a break, but we aren't going to stop recording, are we? <laughs> we'll see about that. Oh All no, right. he's tired. No, no, he's not. <laughs> see you guys soon. In a bit.